All right, we're going to basically be showing you um, how to run NES games or the emulator on your iPhone. And to do that, your iPhone has to be jailbroken. System software really doesn't matter as long as it's jailbroken. You're going to have to have a program on your computer called iBreaker. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And you have to have your ROMs obviously on your computer to transfer. All right. So first, um, you basically just want to turn on your iPhone, and you're going to want to scroll to the installer program, go there, and from there, you're basically going to want to go to install, down there, go to games, then from there, look for a program called NES, underneath the subheading will be NES emulator for the iPhone. And when you're there, it'll be the contact will be Null River Incorporated. Just click install at the top, and it'll install it for you. And then when you're done, you can just go to home. It'll it should reboot on its own, which it did. And now you'll notice when you go in here, you'll see the NES thing up there. Just click NES, and it'll say you have none. Alright, so from there you're basically gonna wanna use the computer from here. Alright, we're gonna basically just plug it in your computer now and we'll do that right there. Alright, now it should recognize it on the computer. iTunes will pick it up automatically on my computer. Um, alright Okay, now basically, I'm gonna cancel this thing. I don't really care right now. Um, now from here, you're gonna want to open iBreaker. Well, have your ROMs downloaded first, but I already have that. So go to iBreaker, open the X file. Okay, now you basically just want to go to Files right down there. Just want to go to Files. Then on this, locate your stuff. What you're gonna want to do is you want to scroll down to var which stands for variable and then from here you're going to want to find root then from there you're going to look for media and then from there we're going to go to roms if there is no roms folder just go here click create folder and type in roms all uppercase but the s will be lowercase Inside there, you want to create another folder called NES, and then in there is where you're going to put up. You're going to upload all your NES ROMs. So I'm going to do that right now for you guys. I'm just going to basically go to my desktop because that's where I have everything, and then on my desktop, I'm going to have to find it, which is actually Mega Man One, which is right there. And now that that's upped. We're pretty much done. From there, you're you just close out of iBreaker and just unplug this. Here, I'll put this down. This way, I have both hands. I'll put you back on the tripod. All right. From here, you're pretty much good. Um, you'll notice this. You can go now to NES, and you'll notice your one game is there. Let's see, just click it, start your game, and there you go. Get his new. It runs actually very, very smoothly. Just I notice the buttons are very, very sensitive. And it works portrait or landscape as well. Any direction. So that's good. And that's pretty much it. You can save your game or not save, like me. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So yeah, it's a very easy process. And yeah, just go for it. I find it running smoothly and it works well.